What's up guys? It's Monday now. Gonna work on the truck today. Here we are at Tool Town. Got myself some Tim Hortons. Gonna let that cool off and we're gonna get some grinding discs from in there. That ought to do it. Man, did it take forever to get that guy to the counter. Decent prices at Tool Town on the grinding stuff. They're uh, usually pretty good for everything. But the paint they had is like some Chinese off brand. I mean, it was five bucks a can, so decided to hit up the old Canadian tire. Because I'm pretty sure the Rust Oleum stuff sells for cheaper than that. It was literally a two minute drive, so here we are. The cashier at Tool Town also almost charged me $54 instead of the 24 bucks it should have been. I charged something like four times and like an idiot, I almost paid for it without even noticing. But I've been up for like, I don't know, not 24 hours yet. I didn't sleep last night editing the video that got up there today. But that's why we got the coffee. No naps. Well, that wasn't really worth it. What you gonna do? Has ever wondered what a Canadian tire looks like? That's what we got. And just a tip for other Canadians, they put the cheaper paint over by the home supply section. All the auto paint's more money. Kind of used to being behind, oh that guy almost just got hit by a truck. Kind of used to more editing the videos than really being in them. My talking on camera will get better and speech and things and thoughts. But anyways, got the crap, so let's go weld some crap. Alright, we're back. It's a little windy so the sound might suck. Put some vice grips just on the bottom of it there to hold it in place. When I go to weld it, I might put some uh, self tappers in the top. Before I weld it though, I got a fat wheeler down to bare steel so it'll weld nice and all that jazz. Here we go. This is basically what you want to get going on. Anywhere you're going to weld around the seam, you want to be bare metal. And same with the piece you're welding on, obviously. I ended up putting a self tapper at the top here, just so it keeps that gap nice and tight, at least in the center. And then when I work my way out with the tack weld, I can just hold it down. But overall, it's pretty tight. This is my welder. As you can see, it's a pretty cheap one. Princess Auto brand. It's a flux core. If you don't plan on doing, you know, automotive stuff every day for the rest of your life. Just a few projects here or there. It's really not a bad machine to get. I've used it for a lot of body repair stuff already. On a windy day like today, it's actually an advantage because the shielding comes from the flux in the wire and not the gas, which would be blown away by the wind working outside on a day like this. Square one for the $130 welder, I guess. Shitting is complete. Look at those awesome welds. This is the part where you go in the comments and tell me how shitty my welds are. 
And I'll agree with you, because they definitely are. I can't completely blame it on the welder. Definitely doesn't help. But it's on there. One thing to remember when you're doing this, you just want to make tack welds as not to heat up the two panels too much and warp them. And you want to kind of move around like you saw me doing when I was welding. All right, so basically at this point, you just want to smooth it out as much as you have to to make uh, the fiberglass and the rest of the body work easy. Can't really complain how it turned out it's still in the truck. You want to give it a uh, good bang sometimes. Make sure none of the welds pop off before you do anything else. If I wanted to be really hack, I suppose I could just paint over it like this. I am planning now to do the sides of the truck, thinking up to this line. From there down, I'm just going to do with the uh, rubberized undercoating stuff. Kind of like a ghetto uh, rhino line job for the truck. The plan is to work on the truck a lot more tomorrow. I don't know if I want to fiberglass it yet or do the rest of the metal work first and just have it all primed. I'll have to figure that out. But all I know is the warm weather in Winnipeg is running out and I gotta get this thing done. Tell everybody about SVP TV and I'll try to keep up this pace of a video almost every day. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Don't forget there's the first video that shows the prep work that went into the truck before this. And I'm just going to keep continuing this series until the truck is done because, I mean, I need to drive it, right? So like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Later, guys.